Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Sunday. It is June 6th, and today we celebrate in the church the great feast of Corpus Christi, the great solemnity of the most holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so, friends, uh, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, the bread of life. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massah. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us adore Christ the Lord, the bread of life. O salutaris hostia, que celi pandis hostium, bella premunt hostilia, darobur fed auxilium, unitri noque domino, Sit sempiterna gloria, qui vitam sine termino, nobis donat in patria. Amen. You fed your people with the food of angels. You gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You fed your people with the food of angels. You gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia. Holy priests will offer incense and bread to God. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. 
Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Holy priests will offer incense and bread to God. Alleluia. I will give to the one who is victorious the hidden bread and a new name. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker, let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand, to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will give to the one who is victorious the hidden bread and a new name. Alleluia. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. From the rising of the sun even to its setting, my name is great among the nations, and everywhere they bring sacrifice to my name and a pure offering. For great is my name among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You bring forth bread from the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. You bring forth bread from the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. And wine which gives warmth to men's hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You bring forth bread from the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation 
by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the living bread come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia. Brethren, let us pray to Jesus Christ, the bread of life, as we joyfully say, Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. Priest of the new and eternal covenant, you offered perfect sacrifice to the Father on the altar of the cross. Teach us to offer ourselves with you. Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. King of justice and peace, you consecrated bread and wine as the sign of your offering. Unite us as victims with you. Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. True worshiper of the Father, you, your perfect offering is celebrated by the church from the rising to the setting of the sun. Unite in your body those who partake of the one bread. Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. Manna from heaven, you nourish the church with your body and blood. Grant that we may walk strengthened by this food. Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. Unseen host of our banquet, you stand at the door and knock. Come to us, stay and share the evening meal with us. Happy are those who are called to your heavenly banquet. Gathering these prayers, these intentions, calling to mind the prayers, the intentions that we hold in our hearts, remembering all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, and in particular on this day, um, giving joy and thanks to God for bestowing his priesthood upon Father Noah Thalen yesterday. He will celebrate his Mass of Thanksgiving, his first Mass, uh, later today in the parish, lifting him up before the Lord, asking the Father to pour out his blessing, to continue the good work that he's begun in him, and to bring it to fulfillment. Gathering all of these prayers together, we lift up our voices using those sacred words that Jesus himself has given to us, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Again, what a joy, what a treasure to be able to pray together in this uh, virtual format, but to be able to pray the prayer of the church, praying on behalf of the church, but praying with the church for the church. Again, what a wonderful thing. I do want to just mention briefly, uh, as I said in that uh, petition that was a little bit long, um, Father Noah uh, was ordained yesterday, um, and so later today celebrating uh, his Mass of Thanksgiving, his first Mass. So I just ask that you would continue to, to nourish his vocation, um, to now ask the Lord to nourish uh, his life as a priest, to guide him, to protect him, um, that he would be a good shepherd, uh, a shepherd after the heart of Jesus Christ. 
Friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live the baptismal call of holiness, united with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.